If someone asked you to find a rocket before 2022 that could launch every four to five days and then land to reuse a part after a few minutes, I believe that you cannot find any such rocket that meets these requirements. Because in the past, the above things were impossible. But just in the recent two years, these scenes have been happening at NASA's rocket launch centers. The rocket that has done this is SpaceX Falcon 9. How to produce the first rockets, how to launch the first rocket into orbit, or how to land vertically a part of a rocket that returns from the sky? These are probably questions that most current aerospace companies and organizations are struggling to answer. But SpaceX has turned those challenges into very normal tasks that they do daily, even hourly. It can be said that what SpaceX has done is making the whole world, especially agencies with glorious achievements in the past, like NASA shocked, admired, and even jealous. How can SpaceX do that? How have they changed the aerospace industry with Falcon 9? Stay tuned as we dive and more in this episode of Alpha Tech. In 2011, Space Shuttle officially retired after 20 years of operation. That can be considered a milestone, ending the old generation of space exploration and opening a new era of the space race. In this new era, NASA will no longer be the main factor. That role will now belong to powerful private aerospace companies with the most advanced and modern technologies. Since that time, companies have made strong progress, of which we will see one company that seems to be making a difference from the rest, that is SpaceX. Founded in 2002 by billionaire Elon Musk for more than two decades, we have always known SpaceX for its professional working style, always ready to test and continuously upgrade. That's why they always create miracles that make us admire. In SpaceX's current success, Falcon 9 is one of the vehicles that plays the most important role. This vehicle possesses two things that many organizations and companies have been surprised and dreamed of, the launch record and the ability to land for reuse. In 2008, SpaceX successfully launched Falcon 1, helping them become the first private aerospace company to successfully launch a liquid-fueled rocket into orbit. Based on that, SpaceX decided to create a larger, more powerful version to aim for further goals, Falcon 9. The Falcon 9's first flight was launched in 2010 and has been operating regularly since then. As of September 18, SpaceX had launched 264 Falcon 9 missions. The last two years were probably the time when Falcon 9 was most active. Last year, SpaceX created an unbelievable record, successfully launching 60 times with the Falcon 9. This year, SpaceX continues to create new records. On September 12, they successfully launched their 61st flight of the year officially breaking their own record in 2022. Next, on October 16, SpaceX posted a tweet announcing that they had launched 900 metric tons to orbit this year. Two days later, on October 18, SpaceX launched the 70th Falcon 9 flight this year. These records will certainly continue to increase. Also on October 18, Bill Gerstenmaier, the vice president of Build and Flight Reliability at SpaceX, said during a hearing of the Senate Subcommittee on Space and Science this year, we're going to attempt to fly 100 flights. As we look to next year, we want to increase that flight rate to about 12 flights per month, or 144 flights, he added. With these plans, the launch frequency of Falcon 9 will probably continue to increase. Currently, the average launch frequency of Falcon 9 is four to five days. In the future, this frequency will probably only be about two to three days. The launch record is extremely impressive, so how about the second factor, reusability? It's also an extraordinary feat of SpaceX. Previously, most rockets were designed for only one mission, but since SpaceX was founded, they have always aimed to develop reusable rockets, from Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy to Starship, although the mission is different. They all have a common name, reusable vehicles. Falcon 9 is the vehicle that contributes the most to this strategy. Last month, on September 20, booster with serial number 1058 became the first booster to achieve 17 reuses, a feat that has never been accomplished by any device in the past. Four days later, SpaceX had another booster that achieved this miracle, which was a booster with serial number 1060. Besides these two boosters, several other operational boosters have also achieved over 10 reuses. Thanks to that, SpaceX was able to save a lot of costs for producing Falcon 9. It can be said that reusability is the basis for the increasing frequency and stability of Falcon 9 launches. 
In addition, reuse also makes the launch cost of Falcon 9 much cheaper than other rockets. Currently, the launch cost of Falcon 9 is only about $67 million. Therefore, SpaceX always become the top choice for major agencies and organizations around the world, including NASA. Perhaps when looking at those feats of Falcon 9, NASA will feel extremely jealous of SpaceX. Why is that? Because those are things they haven't been able to do yet, and perhaps they won't be able to do in the future with their current projects. After the space shuttle officially retired, NASA immediately developed a new project called SLS to help them conduct future missions, the most important of which are the Artemis missions, which will help humans return to the moon after more than 50 years. However, after more than a decade of development, SLS has only launched once, on the Artemis 1 mission last year. In fact, it was originally scheduled to launch in 2016, so it was six years behind schedule. Due to those delays, the costs for this project have reached unbelievable numbers. Since 2011, NASA has spent $11.8 billion to develop the SLS project. The total costs they spent on SLS and related systems exceeded $23 billion. However, Early last month, NASA still said that at the current cost, the SLS project is unaffordable, so they asked the government to continue increasing the budget to continue maintaining SLS. It seems that SLS is becoming a burden. It is becoming a weak project and may even become a dead project if the government immediately stops investing. From a project that was expected to continue its glory, SLS is now becoming a black hole, which can swallow up all the money sources NASA has. In addition, NASA also cannot optimize costs like SpaceX is doing with Falcon 9. SLS cannot be reused. This is one of the reasons why it is so expensive. Besides the expensive production and development costs, the cost for each SLS launch is up to $4.1 billion, an amount that is almost equal to the total cost that SpaceX used to develop their largest rocket, Starship. It can be said that what NASA has done is not commensurate with huge investments from the government and the expectations of the American people. We are entering a new space race, where many countries will compete fiercely with the U.S. for the leading position. But SpaceX with Falcon 9 will help the U.S. defeat all opponents in this race and maintain their current position. SpaceX is helping the U.S. make strong steps in the space race. With Falcon 9, Elon Musk and his team will replace NASA to continue writing the glory for the U.S. aerospace industry. In the future, when Starship is in operation, Falcon 9 may gradually be replaced. But perhaps we will never forget what this workhorse rocket has done. All of the current miracles are enough for Falcon 9 to have the most solemn position in the history of the aerospace industry. As for us, we are living and working in one of the most golden times of Falcon 9. So let's enjoy and save what it has been doing in your mind. It will be a legendary story that you can tell for the next generations. The story of how a rocket changed the world. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Once again, please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.